G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another episode of Wasteland Survival. So last week's episode we got this hallway knocked out. Um, I basically finished all of the catwalks outside and uh, got a whole bunch of lighting done and I think the base so far is looking pretty good. So what I've what I think I will do in this episode is focus on getting this hallway complete. So I think I'll run the air vents into this room. Um, also, I need to basically fill it in and put the windows in and then also the lights that sit up here that kind of light up the wall and make that look quite nice. So I've also been playing around with designs of the medical room. Um, so I think I have gotten a design that I'm pretty happy with and as I mentioned in the last episode there is um, basically I'm not going to share a common wall with the medical room just because of the fact that well you guys will kind of see what I'm planning to do a little bit later on but so the only thing is that this room needs to be about 11 blocks wide. So we've got one, two, three, four, and then obviously one, two, three, four on that side. So it needs to be up until about this point here. So is it this point? So is that where my wall is ending up? So we got one, two, three, four. No, okay, so my wall will end up here. And then basically, what's going to happen is I'm going to need a block spacing behind that wall and then the wall for this room which will probably be the armory will be there and then that means that the opposite wall will be about there so the only issue with making this medical room so large is the fact that as you can see this room is going to be really really small so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the armory room very similar to this hallway here. So it's going to be totally different to most other rooms and it's going to be like more resembling a kind of a storage closet rather than an actual room. So all right well before we get started with that room I basically want to get um, this hallway complete. So the first thing I need to do is well I suppose I need to go charge my batteries but um, hopefully I can get this knocked out before I need to do that so I think these things need to be about this color so what I need to do is grab these lights and place them here um, just spin them around like that so I'll weld this one up and I'll just see where the offset is because basically I need the offset to go down um, and then from there I can basically yeah make it look exactly the same as the rest of the base so let's hope that that is the only corner light that isn't labeled and it looks like that is the case no energy let's um, adjust the offset to five and yeah cool so it looks like they are orientated the correct way so that when I place these lights the light will move downwards because basically I want the light to be at about that point just behind the window um, so what I'll do is I'm going to place one of those um, well not one but I'm going to place two of them here um, and then on this side I am then going to place them one block apart from each other so I'll place one there one there and it looks like I don't have the components but yeah basically I'll place one there so that they will all be evenly spaced and the only reason why I'm putting two here is because yeah I don't really want it want the light to look like it's coming from one side if that makes sense so I would like to put in two there and then obviously I need to replicate this door set up onto the other side all right well I'll be back in a second once I've gotten myself some more charge all right, so I finally charged my batteries. So now we can go ahead and we can start placing down all these lights. But before I even do that, I need to first actually withdraw all the components for those lights. So we'll do that. And then what we'll do is we'll weld these up. So get that one, get that one. And then we'll place another one one block further away from that. 
and I need to kind of do the same thing for the other side although I'm not sure where to actually place them because obviously I don't have the doorways in place to kind of guide me as to where I'm going to place them. So what I will do is I will go away and finish up the doorways and the lights for the other side. And then from there we can go ahead and we can start placing in the windows. Um, and then from there obviously we can start thinking about placing in the air vents. Alright, well, I've mostly finished this hallway. Um, the only thing I really need to finish up is recoloring these blocks here, but I think I'll be able to do that once I put in the air vents. So, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to place in three air vents very similar to how I did in the last room. So, what I'm going to do is, again, exactly the same as I did last time. And I'm going to place them with these blocks here. So we will go ahead and place that block there like that. Another one there like that. And then we'll grab this little corner bit here. Place that there. There. And so on and so forth. And then I don't know where I'm going to place this one. Um... Or these ones, I should say. So maybe what I can do is I can place it about in line with this door. I think maybe that would be fairly well centered, or will it? Actually, no. I need to go one block further than that. Let's grind that away. And let's place it here, I would say. So let me just place these blocks down and we'll see how this actually looks. So how many blocks have we got either side of this? So I've got two blocks there and then two blocks until the end. Oh, perfect. All right, that works out really good. So obviously, I've just got to do this side. So we will go two blocks from here. So one, two, then we'll start our little air vent thingy-majig here. So let's place in our blocks. And we're still two blocks from there. Fantastic. All right, that, that actually turned out pretty well. It's not often that I build things and things go according to plan like that. Or at least not without a lot of, you know, careful consideration and thought beforehand. And sometimes in the game, it just kind of works out. So, all right, cool. So they're all done. Now what I'm going to do is obviously grind this out. Uh, grind this out and then finally grind this out and then what we obviously need to do from here is make the tubes line up from the other room to this room here and if I just drill straight back from this point here I should meet the conveyor junction that I left right at the end here whoa that was a bit of a lag jeepers I don't know what happened there but Anyway, game still seems to be running fine, so luckily it didn't Energy crash. Critical. Cool. Alright, so now we can go ahead and place in our conveyor system. And what I'll do from here, well I think what i got to do now is grind out all these blocks. And then from there I can recolor the other blocks. It's a bit of a shame that I have to do it this way, but because of the way that the the colouring in the game works, I've, I've basically got no choice but to grind these blocks out, colour the ones behind it, because they're covered with a light, and then, um, yeah, put all these blocks back, which is a no bit of a shame. Energy. Ah, no. Alright, I'll be back once i got more energy. Right, well I got myself some more energy, so now we can go ahead and recolour these blocks. Um, makes me wonder, I should really get myself that mod... Uh, I think it's Digi Spray Mod. That would um, work really well in situations like this. Cool. All right, so everything is recolored. Now I've just got to go place my blocks back in, which again, like I said, is a bit of a pain, but there isn't really too much I can do about that. So, all right, cool. So everything's welded up again. So now I can finally run my tube, and hopefully I don't mess up with the colouring tool again and then colour half the base in a colour that I don't want. And I just noticed that I did that, exactly that, for this block here. So, 
cool. Alright, that's all fixed up. So now we just run our conveyor, and then after that we can put in our air vents. So, in fact, maybe I'll colour that block there, just for symmetry's sake. Yeah, why not? Alright, well, I'm going to run this tube, and then run all the air vents, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Alright, well, I'm actually currently downstairs at the moment, um, because there was a couple of things that I kind of wanted to show you guys. I'm not sure why this is saying yellow. Um, as far as I'm aware, all of this should be sealed up, but maybe there's a block missing somewhere. But anyway, that's beside the point. Um, basically... I've had a bit of a change of heart when it comes to this medical room. I had initially planned for the room to be 11 blocks wide or basically 9 blocks of internal space. So what I'll do is I'll head on into this room here which is obviously the reactor room downstairs. Now we can see that this room here is, so we've got one block there, two, three, four, five, six and seven so it's about seven blocks wide so I think I'm going to make the room for the medical station about the same width as what this room here is and then also what I'm thinking about doing is making it the same length so this room is about 12 blocks wide uh, sorry 12 blocks long so I think I'm gonna go with that um, the height well, the internal height is going to be... What's that block there? Um, yeah, so the internal height is going to be four blocks tall. I can't remember exactly how tall this room is. I think it's one, two, three... Yeah, so it's pretty much going to be the exact same dimensions as this room. So, you know, four um, by 12 and then by seven wide. Now, one of the reasons why I wanted to make it so wide was I had planned to place the um oh what are those blocks called the cryo chambers like in the wall here so you can kind of picture that the cryo chamber would be there and then basically i would have a catwalk that was running that way and then a set of stairs that run up to the two cryo chambers that would be sitting um kind of behind this block here but i thought maybe i will do something very similar to what i've done here in the reactor room and maybe instead, what I can do is I can create this little um, bit that kind of sticks out and then place them there like that, although up one block higher so they're kind of overlooking. And then that will give me the ability to move the catwalks closer to the side of the room. And then also what that will allow me to do is have more room to place in these guys here. Uh, let me just see if I can find them. Yeah, so this block here, the medical room. Um, now, I just have to kind of say that this is probably my least favorite block in the game. Just because of the awkward shape of it. I mean, as far as it looks, it looks really nice. Um, but it is very difficult to get these blocks in a an arrangement that actually looks half decent. And I think I have some ideas in mind to actually do that. So, what I need to do now is obviously create the template for this. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to head on outside and do that now. Now, one thing I'd like to point out is um, when you're creating a template, or at least when I'm creating my templates, I tend to go by the internal dimensions rather than the outer dimensions. And that's because, like, let's say I just randomly place a block here. So, I will just grab a few blocks. Um, I thought I'd go through this for the benefit of people who haven't been or haven't seen me design these things before. So if I, usually what I would do is, oh, this drill, um, usually what I would do is I would project this through the mountain and then kind of drill right here. And what that will do is it will clear a little bit of space here and a little bit of space behind this block. So I can put the blocks um, for the walls and they're still embedded like three quarters of the block is embedded into the walls of the mountains so um, I'm basically going to go for 
yeah that's basically how I'm going to create my template so we're going to go with the internal dimensions as and as I mentioned before that is seven blocks wide 12 blocks long and four blocks tall except for the fact that with the roof I'm actually going to go six blocks so I will go from down here and then all the way up and then the additional two blocks will allow me to have a complete cavity um, above so that I can run all of the tubing and stuff like that for the air vents and I think it will just make my life a lot easier when I go to um, actually put in those and speaking of air vents yeah you can kind of see that I have no air vents in this room so yeah that's um that's something I need to sort out at some point but I guess hey you know this entire thing is a massive work in progress and I suppose we will get there eventually all right so what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and create my template and it's gonna be very similar to all of the other rooms in the base and it's going to be sunken down by one block so let's go outside here and let's start building our template so I think about here is as good a place as any um, I think what I should do though is grab myself a fair bit more steel plates because this template is probably going to be quite big okay so what we want to do is obviously well what I'll do is I'll align it to the local grid um, is that embedded yeah cool so we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then from there we will go six blocks across because that block is one and obviously yeah so we got one two three four five six seven so we got seven blocks wide and then we just follow this all the way back and again that will be 12 blocks and then I will just run the blocks back here from that point and then we will go up five blocks because obviously there's one on the base already so that's three four five and then six so that was the five blocks not you know the whole lot so one two three four five six wait did I get that right let me just count that again one two three four five six okay yes yeah, sweet so now I just need to run this all the way back and we will go up by five blocks here and run this to that point and then what this will be is it'll be my entrance so and I'll show you roughly how I work out um, how deep the entrance needs to be so what I'll do here is I will just create a wall at the front well kind of assume that this is the front of the room so what I'll do is I will place four blocks from this point here and my floor is basically going to be where this block is here my walls are going to be where the block is there and so on and so forth um, it, with exception to the roof the roof will only come to this point um, but like I said I'm going to drill this out so that I can kind of walk freely and um, put in the uh, yeah the tubing and stuff like that for the air vents so in order to work out how deep this needs to be we'll just head on back inside and I'll show you exactly how I work that out okay so I'm sitting here in front of the refinery room so to kind of work out exactly how deep I want to go so we can consider this one block so we've got one block here um, because my template will start here so I will be drilling um, like let's say I place a block there I will be drilling where that X is so that will be my wall so what I want to do is go one block because obviously this is where the, the template will begin so we got one block then we have two blocks then we have three blocks and then we have four blocks and this half block kind of sticks out further into the hallway so yeah that is basically how I get my four blocks so hopefully that made sense to you guys um, yeah I try to make it as easy to uh, visualize as possible and um, yeah try and try and get you guys in my head and what I'm thinking about when I'm actually doing this stuff so what I'll do is I'll finish this off camera and then I will project that into the hallway that we just built and then we can start drilling out this rock 
and we can get this uh, thing fitted. Although the other thing I need to check though is will it pop out of this mountain? Like, will the corner of it pop up here somewhere? That's exactly what I don't want to happen. So I'm going to project it through and I'm going to see roughly if, you know, roughly where it is and where it ends up and if it's going to stick out of the mountain any and that is why I am deciding to put the medical room at the back because I think that room is going to be a fair bit longer than what the armory is and I think it's less likely to pop through the side of the mountain if I do it that way so all right guys well I have created the blueprint and I have projected it through the mountain so you can kind of see that here so what I'm going to do though is um, because I'm a little bit worried about popping through that, that little valley that's on the side of us, I think one way I can kind of figure out exactly where I'm at at the end of the room is we can drill to the end of the room on the floor, create a GPS marker, and then see basically where that ends up when we're standing in that little valley outside. So what I'll do here is just drill this part out here. So we'll go as far as we can. Hopefully, I think this is the last block here. Oh, no. One more block. Yeah, there we go. That's the last block. So then I just need to go down one block. Fantastic. And then from here, I just need to basically go straight back from here. So at this point, we just go straight back to the end. Um, once we reach the last block, then I'll place my GPS marker and then I can kind of figure out where we are in relation to outside. Okay, well, it looks like I've reached the end. So as you can see, there's blocks above us, um, whereas there are none here. So what we'll do is we'll just create a GPS marker here, uh, new from current position, um, and we'll just call this med bay. So, okay, cool. Yep, we'll save that. Is that going to save there? Yep, fantastic. And then what we'll do is we'll head outside. I know it's not near the roof, but it should give me kind of a general idea of exactly where that ends up. Okay, so how far away is that? 77 meters. Okay, so that's like, wow. Yeah, that's plenty. That's like Jeep is nearly like 50 blocks, 60 blocks or something like that. Yeah, so we're, we're going to be just fine. So I probably could have even actually gotten away with placing the medical room at the front, um, which maybe I could have actually done that, but that's all right. So what I'll do now is I will go away and drill that room out. And then I will probably go ahead and place all the blocks. And then from there, we can start actually designing the room how we want. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, welcome back. So as you can see, the room is entirely finished. Well, you know, at least except for the interior. So obviously, I think the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add in some lights. So... What I'll do is I'll probably make them um, this color. I honestly can't remember which color they were in the last. Actually, we'll place them about here. So, ah, uh, darn it. Looks like I need some materials for that. So I think all up, uh, let me just have a look at how many steel plates I've got left. So I think when I started this whole procedure, I started with about 20,000 steel plates. So yeah, all up we've used about 10,000 steel plates building this thing, so yeah, it's been um, relatively expensive, although not too much. So what I'll do is I'll add some lights like that, and then is this the middle one? Yeah, I think it is. So this one, I'll add some lights here in the middle, just to make it kind of symmetrical, and then I'll add lights here. And then finally, I'll add lights there as well. Now, I'll just quickly go and weld these up. All right, fantastic. So all of those are welded up. So now let's just, um, I'll set them up so that I can just at least see what I'm doing. So let's find our interior lights. And let's make them 190, 215, and I'll go about 12.5 meter radius. 
um, I'll set the fall off to 2.0 and the intensity to 1.2 all right and then now we should at least be able to see what we are doing fantastic all right so I think the second thing I want to do here is I want to basically add some cargo access because um, yeah trying to weld all these things up well when I was welding this entire room up, basically I was heading back out here and going to this cargo container, but I don't really want to be doing that while I'm trying to set up all of the things in here. So I think what I'm going to do is run a cargo container back to this point here. Um, so we're going to set this up exactly the same as we've set up all the other rooms. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that. Then I'm going to place in a conveyor junction here. So, but what I need to do is make sure that it's relatively straight and then we'll place that in there and hopefully I have the materials on me to do that. And whoa, I'm just short of components to do that. All right, um, actually what I'll do as well is I'll withdraw the components for one interior wall as well so that I can then place that on top so let's finish welding this up let's grab our interior wall let's place that there weld that up and then now what i need to do is obviously drill a hole through the floor and i might just place the cargo container here for now so now i've basically just got to drill back straight to that point there Right, so it looks like I've finally broken through. All right, let's, um, I think I've got to get rid of this block and then, yeah, cool. So we are at the conveyor junction. So what I'll do is I'll place another junction here, mainly because it, well, if I grind this block away, you can kind of see a gap there. So I'm going to place a junction there so that we don't have that gap there. Um, except I probably should have gotten myself some materials to actually build that, shouldn't I? So let's do exactly that. So I'll grab the components for one of those. And then we'll grab some components for a whole bunch of tubes as well. So let's go and weld all this up. Right, cool. So everything's welded up. Um, I've basically just placed a conveyor junction here because later on what I'll do is I will branch off of that to where I want to put the med bays. So what I'll do now is I'll add in my cargo container, although I don't think I've got the components to do that just yet. So let's grab that and let's get this thing welded up. Cool. All right. So now I at least have something where I can grab some cargo from. Now, what I basically want to do is set up this room. So I think what I want to do is maybe place the cryo chambers about here. So we'll do that now. We'll just place these down. Um, I won't place them on the end because I think number one, that's enough. Um, cryo chambers and then I think I'll put something else there and then I think maybe what we'll do is like I said we'll do something very similar to what I've done in the last um, in the oh, what is it in the reactor room so we'll grab some of these blocks now I'm not sure which color to make these I could make them this color so we could just go ahead and place those blocks in there like that and obviously do the same for the other side and the reason why I'm choosing these blocks is because obviously they've got that little bit there and I think it kind of fits it a little bit nicer and the second thing I could do is place some blocks here like this so these are actually being supported by something so we'll do that and then we'll place in these little tips here like this so it's kind of similar but also kind of different to the last room so I still think it's going to look pretty good though. So let's place all those down. Let's spin these around and place those in. And awesome. Alright, so now what I want to do is I basically want to get a, a catwalk that goes up to that room there. So 
let's see here. How can I go about doing this? Um, I think, well, firstly, what I might do is grab my catwalks. And do we have enough components for these? Yeah, should have enough. And I'll make them the dark grey. And actually, maybe what I should do is start thinking about this one here. So I'll just place a temporary block there so I can actually place down the catwalk. Um, maybe what I'll do though is I'll add my door in. So let's add the door. Um, fantastic. And now let's start adding in our catwalks. So I'll probably go for a greater catwalk with, uh, okay, looks like I've got to go, now where do I want the stairs to go? I think maybe, do I want them to go from there or maybe one block further in? Maybe we will go like this and then we'll grab our stairs and we'll place our stairs like that and then like that and then from here what we can do is we can grab our where's our catwalks i keep getting these blocks mixed up ah wrong one right i'll go for a right angled catwalk like that um and i'll put another one there I don't really need the railing right next to the wall, but I think that block looks a little bit better anyway, so I think we'll just, yeah, kind of run with that. So then what I'll do is I'll place a catwalk with a railing like that, and then like that, and I can basically just run the catwalk all the way along like that, so we'll just do that. Um, what do I have on this side? Over there I have the right angled catwalk right angled catwalk and then the catwalk with one railing on one side like that and it should meet up like that and then basically what I've got to do is also add in the stairs on this side so what do I have I have one block spacing there so Okay, so I need another block spacing there, and then I need a free catwalk. In fact, maybe I'll put a catwalk with an end. No, I'll just leave it as this, because then maybe what I can do from here is place a set of stairs down there. So let's have a look here so we can grab our stairs, and we can place a set of stairs there like that. And then we can place another set of stairs like that. And then we'll place our stairs going to the upper level. Place another set of stairs there. Fuel low. Oh no. Wait. Oh no. I messed up. Um, Alright, let's place a block there and a block there to hold those stairs in place. Let's grind this out and let's add a catwalk without any railings whatsoever. So where's my railings or my catwalks? So place another catwalk there. Okay, cool. So that's basically the beginnings of what I want to do. Now obviously this being a medical room, I basically want to add in some med bays. So how am I going to do this? So. I think what I can do is, where are my med bays? So what I can do is I can place in some med bays like, I could place them there like that, and then like that, and then also like, where are we? One there, and then one there. Hmm. Well, maybe, maybe what I can do instead is let's get rid of these and let's grab our med bays again and let's place one here like that and then let's place another one like that and then we'll do obviously the same thing for the other side. Uh, hang on, which way have I got that facing? So that's facing like that and then that is facing like that. And you can see what I mean about these blocks, they're kind of, yeah, they're not the greatest 
kind of blocks to, yeah, try and place. Um, the only thing is, though, what I've noticed with these blocks is that um, it's probably a good idea to get rid of these now and then grind out this block here and add in the conveyor port because if I go ahead and I grind this block away underneath these med bays, they don't actually... Oh, really? They don't actually attach to anything, so let me grab the med bay and I'll show you what I mean. So, yeah, you can see that I can't actually place it there because it, it uses that one conveyor block there on the bottom to actually attach to something. So, if I was to go ahead and grind that away, and I think I ran into that issue at the start of the series. Um, so, yeah, if, obviously I... If I was to grind it away, then it would become a free object and then I wouldn't actually be able to weld it up. So what I'll do is I will run the conveyor ports to these med bays. Um, and then from there, I can... Yeah, and then also I will refill my jetpack. So I'll be, be back after that. Right, so all the piping is finally run, so that's awesome. Um, obviously, what I need to do as well is run the piping behind these uh, cryo chambers, but I will do that later. I'm not sure if I will go from the roof down to those, or if I will go from the floor up to those. So I think I might go that way because it's a little bit of a shorter route. Um, although, yeah, it's not really important now. But what I think I need to do, though, is just check that I actually have some medical components. Because obviously, I need a lot of those to actually get these things built. So, it looks like I don't have any of those. So, maybe what I'll do is I'll get Assembler 1. And we'll have a look for large blocks. And we'll have a look for the med. So, we've got one, two, three, four of those. And then, we'll have a look for the cryo chambers. And I think we've got eight of them. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fantastic. All right. So, we'll wait for all of those components to be built. Um, but what I'll do is I'll put the blocks down at least so that I can get this process started. So, I believe it was that way, wasn't it? And maybe I will make them this color. Let's place one there, spin it around, Energy place critical. it there. Then we'll spin it around again, place it there. And then we'll spin that around and we'll place that there. And then, I think also what I'll do is I'm going to place down some of these... Uh, where is it? These blocks here, these medical stations. But what I'm... I think what I'll do is I'll place one there. See, if I place these two things together, it doesn't really look very intuitive because, like, yeah, you obviously want to walk past and get to this console that sits there. Um, so maybe I will stagger them like that so that, um, you know, you can actually walk past here and it actually looks semi-believable. So let's go ahead and move this one and place that there and then place that there. And also what I've done is I've put the conveyor label at the back so that it doesn't kind of show through, although uh, I suppose it wouldn't really matter because these med bays would kind of cover it anyway. So, all right. Um, what do I need for these? Do I need medical components for those? I do as well. All right, so let's um, manufacture another four medical components. So, one, two, three, four. And I think we should have... Oh, cool. Looks like we've got all the stuff already built. So, I'll get rid of everything that's on my inventory. And then we can go ahead and we can weld all of this stuff up. Alright, cool. So, that's all those welded up. So, I think so far it's looking pretty good. Um, the only thing... Hmm... I would kind of like to have another catwalk that kind of goes over these med bays. Um, and I'm really not liking the fact that this conveyor port is showing on top of these med bays. So maybe what I can do about that. So let's solve that issue first. Or I guess it's not really an issue, but it's um, 
kind of an ugliness. So let's grab the components for... Well, it looks like I recolored that block. Whoops. Um, let's place these here like this. Go like that. And now that kind of solves that problem. So we no longer have this ugly conveyor port showing. Why didn't I grab the... I thought I grabbed all the components for those. Thank you. Right. Let's get those complete. Yeah. So I think that's looking pretty good. So yeah. I think what I'll do is I'll create a catwalk that goes this way. Then this way. Then up to this point. Then it will go right. Then it will go left. And then so on and so forth until we get to this other side here. I don't need these blocks anymore, do I? So let's get rid of those. And... Uh, okay. Alright, so let's place a block here like that to pin this catwalk here down. Because if I don't, then I think these stairs and everything will kind of fall over. So we'll get rid of that. Then we'll place a catwalk without any railings whatsoever. And I will do that like this. And then from there we can have a catwalk that goes this way. So I think what I'll do is I'll make it a catwalk with a double railing. Um, oh, this is the wrong color. Hang on, let me grab the correct color. So let's grab that color. Uh, let's recolor those this color. And let's put in our right angled catwalk, which is this one here and this one here. And then let's go with a catwalk with a railing on both sides, like that. And then we can place another one there, like that. Then our right angled catwalk there, another one there. We can place our other catwalk like that, like that, like that, and like that, and then our right angled one there, and I think you guys get the idea of where I'm going with this. So basically it's going to be the exact same as the other side of the room, and we'll run these catwalks back to this point here like that. And then I need to place another block here to pin this catwalk down so that when I grind it, I'm going to grind this one, the other one's not going to fall into a heap. So then we'll place in a catwalk. I think what I'll do is I'll place a catwalk with a railing on one side so it kind of fits with the theme of the railing being against the wall anyway. Even though I don't really need it to be like that, um, it kind of just makes it look, I don't know the same as everything else so all right so i'll finish this side um off camera and i'll be back once that's done all right cool so all the catwalks are placed down we can walk across all of this stuff uh although actually you know what maybe just to kind of fit in with the theme of the railing being up against the wall i will change these blocks to the railings on both sides uh, are they going to... Oh, no. No. Whoops. Okay. Maybe we won't make that mistake again. So, this time what I'll do is I'll grind down only one of them. And then I will place them down. So, let's make sure I've got the correct colour here. Uh, have I? Wait, what? This colour. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's weird. Just looked a bit weird. I don't know why. Alright, so let's grab our catwalk with a single railing, like that. And let's grind this one away. And let's place in our catwalk with a double railing. Very nice. Right, now I think it's complete. So, I don't know. What do you guys reckon? Do you think it looks alright or do you think it looks terrible? Um, hmm. The other thing I think I might do is... I might change up these pipes. So just to make things look just a tiny touch more interesting, what I might do is get rid of these pipes here. So get rid of those and I will change the way that they go. So I think what I'll do is I'll make the tube come up this way 
and then up this way and then I'll place in the other tubes which look like this uh, so like that so I'll place those ones there so let's grab a curved conveyor pipe let's place one on either end like that and then once again like that then we'll do that 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 and finally that and then all we need to do is go and weld all this stuff up right awesome so that's all welded up and I think that looks a tiny touch better um, except they are the wrong color um, hmm in fact you know what because this is a medical room I don't know if the whole industrial feeling of this room kind of measures up so maybe I will change these things to white so let's um, but I might use a different armor so let's try the sci-fi armor and let's try white and then let's see what this looks like so let's color that block like that like that like that and like that and let's do the same for these blocks here and I'll do the same for the other side and then we'll kind of take a step back and just see exactly what this looks like um, I think it kind of makes sense because a medical room is like kind of I wouldn't say it's a clean room but it just yeah it makes sense the things looking a little bit cleaner all right cool I think that looks pretty good although it's a little bit hard to tell with these um, these catwalks being unfinished I think once I finish up these catwalks it will kind of look a lot better and actually what I will do is I will also change the color of all of these cryo chambers to the same color and we'll go across to the other side and then we'll repeat the process and do the exact same thing and we'll do the same for these ones too now um, okay so I think also what I'm gonna do is just change this side here so we'll grab this color again um, and then we'll find this block and then I'll just place this block here on the ends just to make it look exactly the same across the board um, wow that white is really bright I don't know if I'm completely sold on it although there is one more thing that I want to do before I make my decision on that color so but you guys will have to wait a second before I get to that stage um, let's grab these blocks here so place that there hey where's the other one there we go and then we'll grab this one and then that one but I'm not sure what I'm gonna put there obviously I don't really want to put a cryo chamber there because it's like yeah I think I've got enough cryo chambers um, I mean obviously I'm not really gonna use them but it's more for like kind of decoration purposes but I would have to kind of extend this catwalk out and I'm not sure if I really want to do that just yet uh, although maybe I can but we'll just see what happens I guess so let's place in the last two blocks here like this cool all right so I think now what I will do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to weld all of this up and we'll see how it looks after that because I think um, having it all as a wire frame at the moment it doesn't really yeah it's it's hard to gauge what it's gonna look like uh, with all this silver everywhere um, but actually you know what first what I need to do is get rid of all these cryo chambers let's do that and then I need to get rid of these blocks here and I need to place in some conveyor junctions so and you can kind of see yeah the this was the good part about actually removing um, or moving these cryo chambers out a little bit 
it's allowed me to make the room one block thinner because originally what I was going to do is actually place the cryo chambers here. So I was going to place them in the wall like that. But moving them forward kind of gives me one block extra spacing. And um, I don't need to have a staircase running down to a catwalk there. Um, so yeah, I think this setup looks yeah quite a lot better than what I had originally planned to do. So all right well i'll be back once i've placed in all these conveyors all right cool so all the cryo chambers are placed in um i'll quickly just change my color to the white uh, no not the cryo chambers the uh conveyor junctions let's ch oh <laughs> wrong buttons wrong buttons all right let's uh let's place these things in now so let's place those there and again, like that, and spin those around and place those like that. Cool. All right. So now what I'll do is I'll go away and I'll get all of this stuff welded up, including this door. And yeah, we'll see how everything looks. All right. Well, that took a little bit, but um, it is finally done. So everything is welded up. And I think so far it's looking pretty good. Um, these catwalks kind of, yeah, they kind of follow the path of these, uh, med bays. And I think everything is looking, yeah, really nice. But, you know, as usual, let me know what you guys think. Do you think it looks good? Do you think it looks terrible? Um, yeah, I always value your guys' opinions. Right. So there was one other thing that I kind of wanted to change. So, um... I thought maybe to dress this up a little bit more, well first of all I want to basically put something here. So I've got a couple of options, so first of all what I could do is I could place one of these spotlights here, or maybe what I could do is I could place in some of these um, conveyor sorters, because I mean, yeah they are quite a good looking block. And I don't really need them to actually be connected to anything to like kind of look good. So maybe what I'll do is I'll place some of those in there to kind of dress the place up a little bit. And let's hope that I have the components to do so. I'll spin it around so that the pipes are facing towards the bottom. And I could even go that way actually, but I think I like this side a little bit better even though it's got the feet um, I still think it looks a little bit more interesting so let's weld these ones up and that is now welded up maybe I could make these white actually let's um, let's see what it looks like when these are white um, is that going to select that color let's get right up close to the block um, yeah Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. I don't know. As usual, let me know what you guys think. Okay, now the second thing I wanted to do is... Um, I'm sure you guys can guess what I'm going to do next, but yeah. Uh, you, you know I love my accent lighting, so yeah, we're going to add some accent lighting. Although this time, it's going to be a little bit different to what it usually is. So I think what I'll do is I'll place my accent lighting like this. Um, but what we're going to do is I'm going to change up the color a little bit because instead of going for the orange, I think what I'll do is I'll go for a nice little blue because after all, this is a medical facility and the orange kind of doesn't really match a medical facility. So let's grab our corner lights. Uh, are these all the ones that I've just built? Yep. Um, let's move that to zero. Let's change that to, let's say, about 180. Um, let's bump up the radius to 10. Wow. Um, that's, yeah, just a little bit too bright. Let's bump down the intensity to 0 0.8. And let's see how that looks. Wait. Why didn't I get that last corner light? Huh? Hang on. 
Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Zero. Okay, cool. So that last one's done now. Yeah, so I think that's looking pretty good. Um, I might even bump down the intensity a little bit more. So let's find our corner lights again. Let's change the intensity maybe down to 0 0.6. Um, let's find our roof lights, which are just labeled interior lights for the moment. Let's reduce the radius to about, let's say, uh, 10 meters. Um, let's reduce the intensity to about 1. And let's see how that looks. Yeah, I think that looks okay, although I might just increase the radius just a little bit. So let's grab the this. Uh, let's change the radius to about 11.0. And let's see how that looks. Uh, actually, I'll get rid of my HUD here. Get rid of my welder and let's see how this looks. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. But, you know, as usual, let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you like it? Do you hate it? Uh, yeah, so... Now, I think there is one last thing I can do to this room to kind of dress it up. So, um, I think there are some other blocks in the game that can kind of dress things up a little bit. So, what we'll do is we'll find some spare space on my hotbar... And I'm thinking about using some of the shopping blocks. Now, whereabouts are they on this? Ah, I finally found them. All right, let's grab the store block. Let's place it there. And there is a block in the game, these contracts. So I think what I might do is I might replace these top blocks here with these blocks. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's grind this away, grind this away. And let's go down here. Um, let's grab the materials for a couple of these contract blocks. And the, the good part about these blocks is they only consume 10 PCU. So it's not going to be too bad. Alright, let's weld these up. And let's see how that looks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That looks absolutely awesome. And I think I will actually go for this color here. Um, because I think it looks a little bit better than this light gray. There's um, maybe just a little bit too much light gray on the top of the room. So, all right. Let me go ahead and actually replace all of these top blocks with these contract blocks. And uh, then I'll be back after that. All right, well, that's all the contract blocks done. So let's step back and have a look at how everything looks. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I think that looks absolutely fantastic. This little arrow here is just like the icing on the cake. It just, oh, it looks awesome. So, yeah, like I said, let me know what you guys think. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Um, in the corner here, I decided just to add these blocks. I don't know if I want the contract block to be there. Maybe I can add something else again. Um, but yeah, I, I think using blocks like this kind of decorates things a little bit more. And maybe I can start using things like this um, throughout the rest of the base. Um, eventually, that is the plan. Uh, once I've gotten, you know, most of the... The... Uh, what would I say? Um, everything the way that I want it in terms of, like, you know, the, the style of the room and the setup. Then I can go through and add blocks like this to kind of add that fine detail, I would say, to kind of finish everything off. But, um, yeah, I think that is going to be everything I'm going to do in this episode of Wasteland Survival. Um, in the next episode, what I'll do is I'll go through and I will add in some air vents. Um, we'll get all of that completed. Um, then also, we will conveyor up 
these uh, cryo chambers so that they're actually connected to the rest of the grid. Um, and then, yeah, so after that, this room should be complete. Um, but I think, you know, we've made some pretty decent progress in this episode. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Wasteland Survival, and I hope to see you in the next episode of Wasteland Survival. If you like this episode, then uh, consider leaving a like, and uh, don't forget to subscribe so that you do not miss another episode. Alright, thanks guys. I will see you next time.